Hey y'all, it's Jade Sai Chai back with another video and we're getting a little more consistent. But today I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys why I cut my hair. You wanna know why I cut my hair? joke about cutting my big fro off and my friends would just be like girl you said this every year and you do a little trim you might cut it short but you ain't cutting it all the way off well I started to look on Pinterest and I would see like these small afros and then I would be like hmm this is really cute let me save it and they would be short like shorter than when I transitioned the first time and I cut all my hair off, it was really short, but it was so cute. And my friends would be like, yes, girl, this is a look. You should do it. And then as I kept looking, I'm like, nah, I need to go shorter. So I started looking at mohawks and honestly, they weren't cute, but I just was scared because I have a big head. So I'm like, mm, I'll just get a mohawk and leave a little in the middle. So that way you can't really see my head shape. And then y'all... I could not stop seeing big chops, the little teeny weeny TWAs. And they were so beautiful. And I'm like, God, this is why. But I can't do it because my head is too big. So one morning I woke up and the Lord was like, yeah, you should just do it. Because I had been thinking about cutting my hair off. And I was like, did the Lord just tell me to cut my hair off? The good Lord Jesus. So by that point, I'm like, okay. Let me set an appointment with my brother's barber because we got to do this. If God gave me the green light, that means that I have not been feeling this way for no reason. He was just like, yeah, it's dead weight. It's dead weight. I'm like, yo, because last year I have been going through so much shedding. I had to get rid of people, habits, all kinds of stuff. Because it just simply couldn't go with me into the new season. And it's more than just like 2020, 2021. It's like, no, there's revival happening. There's a great awakening happening on the earth. People are coming to know Jesus for real. Like, for real. So, he was like, yeah, you should just cut it. It's dead weight. I'm like, oh, it's dead weight. Because as I was shedding, that stuff was dead weight. I was shedding the dead weight. I was releasing things. So... That meant that I was going to release all that stuff that was in my hair because hair had held so much like of my life in it. Definitely all my years of college experiences and trauma and things I went through, my hair held all of it. And my identity was slightly in my hair. I would hide behind my hair. It was so big. Like when I wore it down, it would literally just show this much of my face. And it will cover this and I will break out really bad because my hair will cover it and sometimes I will wear like buns and protective styles and stuff like that but literally that was me Jade with the big hair so God was like yes you should cut it then he gave a revelation to my friend as she was taking a shower and he told her that the damaged pieces that I had in the front from doing like slip backs and protective styles, once I cut it off, that's me getting rid of the damage in my life. And unfortunately, like many of us who are called to break generational curses off of our families, amen. And y'all, life was getting real heavy for me last year. I got a little stressed out. I'm not gonna lie, towards the end, I was like, yo, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I'm tired my skin was looking crazy and so imagine that stress times like 20 because I have had went through stress so much in all my years of college just trying to learn how to be an adult from 18 to 22 you know it was rough y'all so my hair held all of that so he was like it's time to let it go you're a new creation in me. Um, the old you is passing away and your hair gotta go. 
You can't look, walk, talk, think, sound, whatever the same. And I was just like, I'm so ready for this. And I'm, I was very real with God in this process. I talked to him about everything. So I was just like, God, I'm a little nervous because my head is really big and I've never not had hair before. And God told me, stop saying that your head is big. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And he just said it loud and clear. And I was like, you know what? I got to practice what I preach because I'm always talking about being careful with careful with your words so duh i can't say that because if i keep saying that then i'm going to believe the lie god intentionally made me this way so nope i do not have a big head he already knew what i was going to look like millions of years ago and it was not a mistake he made no mistakes so i was just like okay god i'm gonna stop saying that i have a big head and he just continued to minister to me like I wish I would have wrote it all down but basically I was very used to being known for having big hair and I decided that I want to be known for loving God honestly I want my I want people to see God in me I don't want them to see my hair or whatever else now those are great things that god has blessed me with and they may that may draw people to me for me to minister to them either through my life or by actually ministering to them but i didn't want my identity to be in my hair i wanted it to be in god and he delivered y'all I probably had about two dreams where I was really scared to cut it off or like not scared because every time I had the dreams I would be like okay I'm still cutting it off but I would kind of wake up in a panic like oh my gosh I cut all my hair off so by the time I actually cut it off I didn't feel like that anymore because I already had two dreams like that so it was like my brain had already realized like yeah you're bald headed so yeah God held my hand the entire way and God also told me you are going to inspire other people who don't have the confidence to do it to cut their hair off. And a total of three people have already cut their hair off. And it's only been three weeks, I think. Within the first week, two people had cut their hair off. And one of them, she had already cut her hair off before. And then the other two, they had never cut their hair off before. And they said, once they saw me, they was like, it's time. If she can do it, I can do it. So y'all, if I can do it, you can do it. So I pray that if you have been on the fence about this, that God will give you either the green light or the stop light. Because it's honestly, I wouldn't say it's not for everybody because you're going to be confident. You got to be confident if you got this. But it's, it's a very big step. Like, hair is a big thing. People are attached to their hair. My identity was in my hair. So if you're not ready, don't do it. But I mean, it all grows back. So even if you're not ready, you're going to learn a lot from it. And I personally think you'll grow to love it. But that's just me. I'm a little biased because I freaking love it. But don't ask me because I'm going to tell you to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you to do it. But no, seriously, I pray that if it's meant, you will do it and that God will give you the comfort to do it. It's just here. Like, it's literally just here. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my video. Yep. I hope I'm not missing anything. My throat hurts. <sighs> But yeah, um, I cut my hair off because God told me to. And it was the best decision ever. If God is telling you to do something, do it. Just be obedient because he knows what's best for you. And if he's telling you, trust him. Because there's a reason why he being loud and clear in your ear telling you to do something. You better listen because you're not going to regret it. 
So, yep. I love her so much. Um, I did like these coils at the top. Um, are they coils? I just took a comb and kind of just, you know, sectioned it off and combed through it. And then I did these little swirly fake finger waves on the side because I can't figure out how to finger wave it quite yet, the whole thing. But we're going to figure that out. And I'll be getting some hair tutorials out. I'll be pushing out some content because I'm bald. So now I have to learn how to take care of my hair from the ground up. So once I decide to grow it out, then we'll have a whole hair journey. But right now, I just want to keep cutting it and dyeing it and trying different things to figure out how, like, how my hair works, what it likes and what it doesn't like. Because before when it was long, I didn't really take many risks with it, aside from maybe heat here and there. But I want to figure out, like, okay, what color can it withstand? I want to know all of that. I might even perm it. I don't know, because it's short. So I can just cut it off, start over. It's no big deal. And yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to figure out the whole bald, baldy thing because I graduated college with a degree in journalism and I want to go into law. But at the same time, I have a passion for hair and beauty and I used to want to open a natural hair salon. And so I think that's why God had me transition and cut all the dead, dead weight, all the dead pieces off. And then I learned how to take care of my hair in its natural state, even though I started neglecting it later. So I mentioned that part. And then now I'm bald headed, so I can also learn how to take care of it short like this. I can learn color, cuts, all of that. So I think God is just trying to teach me how to be versatile because I'm gonna go and nurture that craft again at some point. Last year I learned how to do um, protective styles like knotless braids, passion twists, butterfly locks and so I think God just wants me to be very multifaceted and what better way than to do it myself because I'm very much DIY so that was just a little bonus y'all didn't really care nobody asked but I just felt the need to share that so that was also another reason why I had to cut it because God is trying to teach me so much through my hair isn't it beautiful so yes I hope that this video has blessed you and that you have a great day. And before you leave, I just want to pray because you did not click on this video by accident. So, dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Father God, for everyone viewing this video right now. Father God, I pray that you would bless them and I pray that they will become sensitive to your voice, Lord God, and that they would not settle for anything that's not like you, Lord God. Um, I pray for those who are on the edge about either a decision of their life or just simply cutting their hair off, whatever, Lord God. I pray that you would give them the green light to follow your will, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for your will being done in their life, Lord God. We all have our own agendas and desires and wants, Lord God, but we simply come to you right now saying, thy will be done. Nonetheless, your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.